All right, here's the mold, and I'm just gonna coat it with some clay and hope to reduce the effects of the concrete surface. All right, I put these steel plates here so that all the copper is directed right into the mold. And the way it's gonna work is I'll take some wooden pieces like this and put them up here. And then I'll set the thermite in the pot just like that. And hopefully it all drips and goes and fills up the whole thing. All right, time to light. Oh, there it goes. It's dripping down. I was a little bit worried at first, but I see it dripping. Hopefully that was enough. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Um, it did not fill up the whole mold. Looks like I should have put in more thermite. Oh man. The copper is still all. Yeah, it's not. Oh, it's still like. Oh, it's still liquidy actually. Look at that. See that? No way. <laughs> It's still very liquidy, somehow. Look at that. There's not much more I can do at this point. The whole thing's about to fall. Yeah. <sighs> Looks like that's what it's gonna end as, just kind of a blob. Not quite to the end on either side. And there's a lot of excess in here. Whoa. There it goes.
I'll check back when it's all cooled down. And At this point, I'm just kind of pulling at it, and it's, there it is. <laughs> at least it looks nicer on the outside than the other one. All right, we're gonna quench this copper. This, this should be pretty interesting. There we go, ready? Dang. Yeah, it's cooling down in there. Just for fun, I could throw this in. Ready? Oh my. Yeah, so I realized that I probably should have used the full two pounds of thermite like last time. This time I only used 1.2 pounds and that wasn't enough to like solidly melt the, all the copper and get it extremely hot and have it flow right down. That's why it only worked partially, so. But I guess it's okay. I saved a little bit of materials and when I try sand, I'll have a decent amount of thermite to work with. All right, as you can see, the copper didn't quite fill up the whole mold. There's still some parts where it's missing, like here and here and the edges. But this casting is actually a lot smoother than the previous one. Like, especially right here on the end. I rub my finger on it, and I don't get all scratched up. It's a lot nicer than before. So in about a week from now, I will get, um, or I'll make green sand and I'll probably film a video on that and I'll make a mold out of it. And then I'll just melt these down again and cast them. This one and the one from my previous video. And hopefully I'll get a lot nicer shape. But at least I got like the general idea of it here. You could see um, it's almost like a little dull dagger. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for this video and bye.